Stichotrica are commonly housed in a granular lorica, a mucus sheath of their own making. The lorica often contains debris and bits of dirt, and according to Joan Frude, even particles of Stichotrica's own solid waste. Stichotrica resides in its own genus. There are several well-established species of Stichotrica. And a number of additional species have also been described. The species which seems to be most common, and the species which is seen in the videos to follow, is apparently Stichotrica aculeata. Stichotrica has a slender, fusiform body, which is typically 150 to 300 microns in length. Its anterior end, which contains a lengthy peristome, is relatively narrowed and takes the form of a highly flexible proboscis. The body proper has four spiral rows of cirri. The peristomal region has an adoral zone of membranes which are comprised of polykinetids of fused and adherent cirri. Stichotrica may be found free swimming in the environment in a solitary non-loricate form, but is more typically found in a loricate form. The lorica is a tubular structure formed from gelatinous mucoid material secreted by the organism itself. This multidiagrammatic plate from Saville Kent's Manual of the Infusoria from 1889 shows a number of the observed forms of Stichotrica. It illustrates a number of examples of different species of Stichotrica not sheathed within a lorica. On the other hand, it also beautifully illustrates the loricate form of Stichotrica, including one in a single tube, two organisms sharing a single lorica, long tubular individual loricas, and a multiplex lorica housing what is effectively a sessile colony of organisms. Note that the organisms within the long individual sheaths are rather twisted in appearance and may actually have been ketospira. And so, the loricate variety of Stichotrica is a tube dweller. As will be seen in the videos to follow, it exhibits a characteristic pattern of darting motions which bring its proboscis largely to the exterior of the tube or bring the organism entirely back into its dwelling. Note the speed with which Stichotrica darts on a sliding path in and out of its lorica, but also note that little more than its proboscis is projected outside of the tube. Note also that the proboscis is flexed at almost 90 degrees upward or downward. This video illustrates the appearance, albeit somewhat 
flattened and disorganized by cover slip pressure of a portion of a Stichotrichia colony. Three adult organisms are visible. Two relatively mature ones and in the rear, on the viewer's right, a smaller one. Note that the rearmost area shows what appears to be an irregular gelatinous mass which contains three or four products of the binary fission of Stichotrichia. Note that they are relatively immobile and smaller than adult Stichotrichia. The drawings inserted for comparison are from Joan Frude's classic paper.